Welcome to my channel I aim to upload these news top 10 summaries daily. Links to all articles in the description if one grabs your attention. From the Telegraph under the main headline of Saudi Arabian Grand Prix 2022 qualifying. F1 Live. Latest news and lap times from Jeddah. Summary of headline article. In the end F1 and the FIA issued a joint statement late on Friday night confirming that the race weekend will go ahead as scheduled after drivers were talked down from staging a boycott. The BBC reported that the drivers were effectively blackmailed, reminded how difficult it might be to leave the country if they refused to race. It is not really the case that the show must go on but it is continuing anyway. Whilst we do not know what was said in the discussions last night, you can imagine the severity and seriousness of discussions between the drivers, team principals and F1 heads. But none of that is guaranteed and the situation appears to have developed into an uneasy one at best. From Mail Online under the main headline of Barcelona Legends Edge past Liverpool Legends at Anfield. Summary of headline article. There was no doubting who would take the spot kick. And Gerard duly converted from 12 yards to put Liverpool in front in the 14th minute. Gerard then went close to extending Liverpool's lead himself with an effort from a tight angle. But his shot flew narrowly wide. Gradually, Barcelona grew into the game. And they hit back just before the interval to level matters. Liverpool tried to respond as substitute Stuart Downing and Kite went close. But they could not find a way through Barcelona's defence. Here is Sportsmail's live blog for updates on the game between Liverpool and Barcelona legends to raise money for the LFC Foundation. From Sky Sports under the main headline of England vs Switzerland. Mark Guahy and Kyle Walker-Peters set to make three Lions debuts at Wembley. Summary of headline article. Mark Guahy and Kyle Walker-Peters will make their England debuts against Switzerland. With the pair named in the starting lineup for Saturday's match at Wembley. The duo both earned their first call-ups for the two home international friendlies against Switzerland on Saturday and Ivory Coast on Tuesday. Guahi and Walker-Peters will be part of a new-look England defence against Switzerland for Southgate. Who wants to try alternative options as he prepares for the World Cup later this year? Tune in to England vs Switzerland from 4.30pm on Saturday. Kick off 5.30 p.m. on Sky Sports Main Event and Sky Sports Football. You can then watch England vs Ivory Coast live on Sky Sports Main Event from 7 p.m. on Tuesday. Kick off 7.45 p.m. From Daily Star under the main headline of Ryan Reynolds, loses nine years off his life, after. Wrexham's mad 11-goal thriller. Summary of headline article. The Welsh club, who are owned by Hollywood superstars Reynolds and Rob McElhenney, were 5-2 down with less than half an hour left to play. Wrexham were made to wait until the 90th minute to draw level though as Jordan Davies finally found an equaliser. Unsurprisingly, one of those was co-owner Reynolds who took to Twitter after the game to share the anguish he just felt watching his club's roller coaster of a match. Deadpool star Reynolds wasn't the only Wrexham fan left utterly broken as a result of the thriller. Though, the win takes Wrexham up to second in the fifth tier on 68 points and gives them an excellent chance of qualifying for the playoffs. From the Sun under the main headline of Countdown to Qatar starts tonight with England's focus on Ruling the World. Summary of headline article. The Countdown to the World Cup starts at Wembley tonight. The results have been decent. Even though the majority of England players, with a few exceptions like Declan Rice, 
are not enjoying particularly good seasons. Following that painful evening last July, England won five and drew two of their World Cup qualifiers. We wanted to sustain our performances after the World Cup in Russia. But in terms of the World Cup, we don't play tomorrow so we have to be open-minded to changes in circumstances. From Daily Mirror under the main headline of Root, didn't try enough, as concerned Vaughan. Questions Captaincy Future. Summary of headline article. Former captain Michael Vaughan has questioned Joe Root, s future as England skipper suggesting he may not have the energy to continue following their tour of the West Indies. Joe Root will look at this series if it goes wrong and start to think if he is the man to take. England forward is captain, he told BT Sport. Root might even wake up in a month's time and think to himself. I don't want to be captain anymore. Joe Root concerned me. I don't think he tried enough this morning. Whether it was bringing him or Dan Lawrence on. The biggest meeting for the director of cricket and new head coach will be with Joe Root. From Metro under the main headline of Emma Radicanu blasts critics over unfair comments amid. Latest sponsorship deal. Summary of headline article. Emma Radicanu crashed out of the Miami Open in the second round. Picture. TPN. Getty Images. Emma Raducanu has hit back at criticism her focus has shifted away from tennis amid a series of sponsorship deals. The U.S. Open champion is still struggling to find her best form this year, winning just two of her seven matches, and suffered a disappointing second-round exit to Katerina Sinayakova at the Miami Open this week. Ready for every moment our journey holds for us. Hashtag dreamers on hashtag adpic.twitter.com slash tf6dgidfsk. Emma Radicanu. At Emma Radicanu. March 21st. 2022. At the end of the day. I feel like my days. With sponsors. Are pretty limited. I'm doing three. Four days every quarter. So it's really not that much. The British number one season has been hampered by injuries while about. Of coronavirus over the winter period also affected her preparations. That's definitely at the front of my head. More. Tim Henman delivers honest verdict on Emma Raducanu's disappointing Miami Open exit more. Tim Henman delivers honest verdict on Emma Raducanu's disappointing Miami Open exit for more stories like this. Check our sport page. From Daily Mirror under the main headline of ex-Chelsea star Victor Moses left in limbo as Premier League block Burnley move. Summary of headline article. Victor Moses joined Spartak Moscow last year after finally ending his time at Chelsea. But the Nigerian midfielder has been looking to return to the Premier League with Burnley former Chelsea star Victor Moses has been left in limbo after the Premier League blocked his move away from Russia to Burnley. Moses is technically out of contract until June 30th this year under special dispensation granted by FIFA and UEFA. However, the Premier League has turned down Burnley's request to allow him to sign Moses. The Premier League has declined to comment on the matter. Moses joined Chelsea back in 2012 after rising through the ranks at Crystal Palace. From the Telegraph under the main headline of rain to cash in on Chelsea sale as bidders told to commit additional £1 billion towards future investment. Summary of headline article. Chelsea's insistence that the winning bidders to buy the club must commit at least £1 billion towards future investment will push the fee collected by Rain, the bank in charge of the sale, even higher. Rain has confirmed that its lucrative commission for brokering the Chelsea takeover is tied to the eventual fee and the money committed for investment into Stamford Bridge and the squad. 
four groups, led by Todd Bowley, Josh Harris and Sir Martin Broughton, the Ricketts family and Stephen Paluka, have received confirmation they have progressed to the next stage. A spokesperson for the Rain Group said, Our commission is tied to both proceeds and the capital contributed to build and run the club for its future success. The Ricketts family released a statement promising they would try to reassure supporters that their bid was inclusive of all supporters. With Chelsea and Rain expected to examine that relationship in greater detail. From Metro under the main headline of Chelsea to miss out on signing new goalkeeper after UK government's sanctions. Summary of headline article. Chelsea were in advance talks to sign Gabriel Slonina from Chicago Fire. Picture. Getty. Chelsea look to have missed out on the signing of Gabriel Slonina as a consequence of the sanctions placed upon Roman Abramovich by the UK government. Chelsea had hoped to sign Gabriel Slonina for £6 million. Picture. Getty. Chelsea, according to Fabrizio Romano, had been closing in on the purchase of teenage goalkeeper Slonina from Chicago Fire and were hopeful of sealing a deal in the region of £6 million. To that end, the Ricketts family and NBA owner Stephen Paluka have been included in the final four-party shortlist to buy the club. Offers from the Ricketts family. Boston Celtics owner Paluka, David Blitzer and Josh Harris and Todd Burley are understood to have been shortlisted with London-based Centricus now out of the running. Rain Group have told shortlisted bidders that the sale of Chelsea could be completed by the end of April. Many thanks for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe and click the bell to get your daily notifications. Have a great day thank you for your support goodbye.